Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Center and I'm back with another travel video. So today we are in La Corona, Spain, which is a very exciting first day in Spain. We went from France the first day of this cruise, sea day yesterday, which was kind of rough because they were going so quick getting us from France to Spain. And now we have a couple days, different ports in Spain and Portugal. So today in La Corona, first day we don't have an excursion planned we've looked for a hop on hop off bus but i'm not 100 percent sure they have one because i didn't find anything online we're gonna go check at guest services we're gonna go walk around if we don't find one so bring it along and just see what there is to see let's go looks like a industrial kind of port up close the other side of the ship it's quite a bit more industrial but you can see even uh, even just a few blocks over, it is quite more historic back in this area. And I'm thinking that's where downtown is. So we'll probably dun -dun -dun, get off the ship down here. And it looks like everyone is kind of making their way in between these two buildings and headed that way. So we're gonna go find out what there is to find out, but I'm guessing that's the goal. Let's go see. All right, so we made it into town from the boat and we're just gonna walk around. There's the Tower of Hercules when it's all the way across the Proceed to the route. Thank you, Siri. We are proceeding to the route. So we're gonna walk around downtown, look for the Pandora store, which it says it's about a 10 minute walk. And then we may or may not get a taxi. We may walk around downtown. Let's go see what there is to see. Take a left onto the path. Then in a quarter mile, take a right onto the path. Look at, is that Agapanthus? Oh yeah. I'm just walking about and making a general way towards In a quarter Pandora. mile, take a right onto the path. Checking out everything along the way. Yeah. Oh, I like Papa. That. Yeah. I guess it looks Spanish. It looks a little Japanese. Okay. Um, is this a bank right here? I don't know. Casino. Yeah, it says casino. Proceed to the route. Siri doesn't like that when you went one straight over. Proceed to the route. Instead of rerouting us, she's just screaming. <laughs> she wants us to go back to the route. All right, y'all, let's see what we see next. Maybe a bathroom. I don't know. Very interesting, that's for sure. Spider-Man. I guess I wasn't expecting all the palm trees. No. So it's not exactly tropical here. Oh, it's warm, but it's just not tropical. That's a regular bus. Yeah. No, we may be able to take the regular bus, but we'd have to find a bus route to look at and see. At least these uh, stones are much easier than cobblestones to walk on. I saw this building from the boat. I'm not sure what it is. La Terraza. I thought Terraza was like a plaza. I wonder what that means. And there's all these heads up top. 
Huh. Interesting. Oh, a chow. A little wooden playground. So on the map said Jardin, which is usually, I mean, Jardin is French for garden, but we're in Spain. Imagine it's a similar word in Spanish. You're supposed to go through the garden and to the right. So it's a very nice little shady walking path. Is that a Japanese maple, mom? on the right. Is that a Japanese maple right there? Is that something else? Yeah. Not so. Your little Japanese maple might Take grow. a right onto the path. Then in 100 feet, take a right onto the path. <laughs> Your little Japanese maple might grow up to be that big one day. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's a bunch of begonias. guy is feeding the fish I think Let's take a right onto the path then in 40 feet take a left onto the path Just throwing food in yep he was he was feeding the fish all the pellets goldfish and koi and Pond fish. Yeah, it's feeding time. That guy just put a bunch of food in. Oh, look at that big one. Well, I think we're supposed to go out this way past the Towers of Flowers. Okay. Let's see what's next. bushes. That's funny. I wonder how hard it is to keep them trimmed. Huh? All right, so we got our, our charms and we're walking back through the garden and it literally says September 5th, 2022. I can't imagine. They must change that date every day. It's so funny. I'm gonna walk through the little garden here for a minute. And then I think we're gonna find a taxi to Old Town is our goal. Oh look, it shows you all the different roses in the garden. Fun.
I imagine once the roses grow up and over it, it'll be really pretty. Seen a lot of, lot of chihuahuas. <coughs> Mom's gonna smell it. She smells everything. Look at the rose hip on that one. Oh yeah, that is big. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty flowers. What I was saying is there seems to be a lot more dogs in Spain yep. than there were in France, but maybe not as many as there were in Germany. Germans love their dogs. Apparently, so do the Spanish. It's a big beagle. All right, y'all, somewhere over here, our little map said there's a taxi stand, so I'm gonna go find one and we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so we're at the Maria Pita Square. Our very nice taxi driver spoke very little English, but he tried. He told us all about the windows. He, of course, everything in Europe these days is uh, contactless, so you just tap, tap, tap. Very interesting. Yeah, four euros is probably the cheapest taxi we've had yet. Um, open it up on your, your map. No. So it's the top left one up there. I'll read what it says. It says this nineteenth century. Portico Square is the site of the city hall named after the heroine, heroine and symbol of our city. So this is like their main city square and their government buildings, apparently. There's not like vendors. Yeah, more people. Heading out of the square, Maria Pita, which was right back there. And we're just gonna walk around in Old Town and see what we see. Shells. More windows. More windows and old old houses. Hey. 
Hmm? Okay. Walking in Old Town so far on another little park with a very old magnolia and lots and lots of houses, little uh, shop, no, no little shops, but lots of little like bakery, bakery grocery store, local places. <coughs> yes. So definitely interesting, but not quite the touristy places mom's looking for. We like to see both, but yeah, we don't need sandwiches. We need postcards. <laughs> I'm gonna head up this way and see what's up here. Black dog. Black dog cafe. Is that a tavern? Of course, it's a tavern. These little. Rock design roads are almost worse than the cobblestones. <laughs> Should have had a taxi take us to the far side of Old Town and walk back. Yeah. <laughs> if we'd realized that apparently Old Town is all uphill. <laughs> oh, that's striped doors. Oh, it's a church. Okay, well, we can wait. Okay, so mom went and read the sign. It's called the Santa Maria del Campo. The reason behind its name is at the time of its construction, it probably stood outside the city walls. The modern day building may date from the beginning of the 13th century or the beginning of the 14th. Um, the end of the 13th or beginning of the 14th. Since ancient times, it was the church of the sailors and traders guilds. In the year 1441, Archbishop Santiago established the church as the Holy and in 1494 Rome granted it the title of Abbey. Hmm. Throughout the 18th century, there were several attempts to rebuild the church, although all failed. Extension work was carried out in the 19th century, bringing the doorway forward. All right, so just looked at the map, and this church, the Maria, is directly in the middle of Old Town. So this is definitely Old Town, and we are going to go ahead, walk back to the edge, and then, is this a dead end? 
Well, we'll find out. I'm gonna try to wake our way towards the bottom of Old Town and then walk along the edge down towards the marina. So just gonna kind of keep wandering about. Look at this pigeon. He is like living on the edge. <laughs> Mom isn't sure if this is a dead end or not, so guess we'll find out. What in the world is this fancy table? I guess people in La Corona just have fancy tables. I just love all the old fashioned door hardware. Each door, every building is a little different. Pigeon is not living on the edge. Oh, pretty doors. Door knocker. Yeah, there was one right there was back, one there. back there. Too. Yeah. Such a narrow little streets i can imagine i mean we were talking to what a taxi driver the other day who couldn't comprehend living in a city like we do in a small town alabama where the nearest places to go shop i mean our nearest target is 30 40 minutes away you have to have a car to really live in these places as opposed to these kind of older cities where you know if you lived in one of these houses you don't have a car you really walk or take public transportation everywhere but these cities have public transportation in a way that we don't yeah All right, y'all, I think it's going to be a bit of walking, so we will see y'all at the next interesting place. I wonder if this is the wall around Old Town. It's definitely a wall. I don't know. So, sweet little lady is walking around collecting chestnuts. You want to give it to her? No. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty little square. It's very dessert. Well, it's Monday, so people are not people are at work and I wish I knew what she said. Something along the lines of, hey, Chorus, don't take my chestnuts. I wasn't. <laughs> Is this more of that? It's similar to what was at Givarnay, but a different flower altogether. And it's got some kind of purple grass in the middle. Do you know what this is, Mom? I don't know. They just have flowers and parks everywhere. I think so. Because it looks like down this way. I don't understand. 
understand. Or I guess it's just not comprehensible to me. Is this is just somebody's backyard. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that's just up there. Like, there's just history everywhere. interesting how living in cities like this people don't have backyards but you see flowers on almost every balcony and that's one of the few things we've seen at almost every um, country is flower shops yes. wow. one of the few things in common both places in Germany we saw flowers, even in the mall in Germany. Yeah. Is that a bougainvillea vine on that house? Look at the bell tower. This is something. Oh yeah, there's another tour group over there. You know you're in a tourist spot when you see the tour group. <laughs> They're obviously working on whichever church that is over there. Mom, I think we need to go this way. Mom's not listening. Mom forges her own path. She wants to take a picture or something. I look, they have little signs. I wonder if they say anything about what this is. Definitely different when you do things on your own. Well, it says lots of stuff. I just can't read any of it. Take a left on Plaza General as Caraga. Then in 600 feet, take a right on Calle Maria Barbido. All right, y'all, so we're coming up the hill from down this way. And this is the back of the park with those big magnolia trees. So we have come full circle. We are now slightly different, one road over from where we walked up. So that's good, in the right place. Walk back down. This is obviously an old church, the old glass window and the old bell tower. And they are, they are doing work on it over here, but I'm not sure where or what work. Is that a, yeah, that's a dog. I don't see anything that says 
what church it is. Another little supermarket pharmacy. All right, I think this is the front of the church. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Smile, mom. Let me. All right. So I looked on Google, and it says that this church is called the Iglesia de Santiago Apostol. There's nothing on the church that says what it's called. And it's definitely right, kind of right there. On yeah, the left. but it's it's it very faded, it's hard to read. So it's very pretty though. All right, we're gonna go on down here. We are almost back to the marina. Yep. The square and then the marina, and then we're trying to decide if we're gonna go to the Tower of Hercules or not, which is apparently the oldest lighthouse, but it is all the way on the other side of the city. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's walk around the marina and then decide. All right. Made it out of Old Town, and as you can see, there's our ship. Here's the marina. There's lots of taxis to be had. They know where the tourists are. There's a little carousel to ride. Mom's headed for that ship. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can find some. All right, well, we found some postcards and we're just gonna walk along the marina back to the ship. I think we've decided we don't wanna go out to the Tower of Hercules as much as we wanna see it. The clouds are getting funky. Wind is getting strong and it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So we're gonna walk around until we get to the ship and then we're gonna just uh probably work on some videos this afternoon easy day. easy day but we still have four more days we still have four more days on this cruise Plus, and i think to Rome. this is one of our more successful non-excursion days yeah, it was. we saw everything we really wanted to see we walked all around downtown and we saw some of the history and the culture and we're still going to be back, hopefully soon enough that we're not gonna have late. <laughs> Plus, you're going to make friends with this little seagull. He's like, I don't know about these Americans. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all back on the ship. Ooh, there's a great for me. Hmm? I don't know what you're saying. A crepery. Thought you were saying a something beret. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are literally getting back on the ship. What would you say, Mom? I would say that today was probably the best of the non-excursion, do your own thing days. We didn't have any bad problems. Yeah, it was good. It was easy to get around. Yeah. I like. Where was it? Helsinki, we did the hop on, hop off bus. Yep. I liked that hop on, hop off bus, but we were almost late because it was so hard to get around and find our way back and you could not find a taxi. So today was good. Dover, we couldn't find a taxi. Yeah. Now we're going to climb the giant, not the giant, 
ram back to the ship. And you might want to go ahead of me. I'm slow. <laughs>